This is the Roslyn Park National School Sevens, the biggest tournament of its kind in the world. Every year, more than 10,000 boys and girls put on a festival of rugby on the outskirts of Wimbledon. There are some top quality players here too, which has caught the eye of some of the Premiership's recruiters. So Talking Rugby Union came down to bask in the sunshine and shine a light on some of those emerging talents in English rugby. Sam Kerr is a rising star from South Croydon of Whitkiff, just behind me. He's already been recruited by the Harlequins Academy and he's already in an international setup. Millfield School has always been a hotbed of young talent in rugby, and this year is no different with three star prospects. They include Ina Sultan Edwards, a European 300 metre record holder, Yian Davis, who as a lower sixth has already been picked up by Bath, and Sam Harris, the England under 18 fullback, also of Bath, who has been described by his coach as the next Marcus Smith. The player who's been calling a stir on the south coast is Johnny Smith, the Brighton College youngster, was the player of the tournament at the St Joseph's competition a couple of weeks before the Sevens here in London. And he's already been recruited by Harlequins and he's part of the England under 18 setup. The institution that is Hartbury Rugby gets started at junior level and among their team today they have Josh Hathaway, a very exciting fullback. He's already been snapped up by Scarlets and he has an appearance for Wales under 20 under his belt. And Hampton School are certainly leading the charge when it comes to recruitment. They're dominating London at the moment. Ethan Knight, their captain, has been recruited by Harlequins, while Charlie Cross, the vice captain, is over at London Irish. We have merely scratched the surface of the vast array of talent on display at the Roslyn Park National School Sevens. If you think there's someone we missed out, then put it in the comments. But one thing is for sure, the future of English rugby is very bright indeed.